U.S. President Barack Obama kicks off his Africa tour in Senegal on Wednesday. The West African nation is a key U.S. ally and an anchor of stability in a region plagued by terrorism, military coups and uh, transnational crime. President Obama's visit is seen as a nod to Senegal's democratic track record and what analysts say are ongoing strides by its government to crack down on corruption. Viewers and look, files from Dakar. President Obama visits Senegal a little more than a year after a hotly contested presidential race tested the country. That election in 2012 began with deadly street protests against the incumbent's unconstitutional bid for a third mandate, but ended with a peaceful, transparent vote and the country's third democratic handover of power since independence in 1960. Senegalese are well aware of their accomplishments but say President Obama's visit is an honor all the same. What would be ideal is to not need people to come from the outside to tell us, yes, you are good democracy, you are good students, but it still makes people happy. It's Obama. He's a busy guy. It's an honor. West Africa Research Center Director Usman Sen says Mr. Obama's visit will reinvigorate progress being made in Senegal. His visit shows that this country, as little as it is, matters. Senegal has only 12 million inhabitants, and I don't think Senegal's economy is even as big as New York City's. We are small compared to the United States, but what we can bring to the world is something else entirely. I like this. Mr. Obama has only made one other trip to sub-Saharan Africa as president, to Ghana, in 2009. Thank you. He called for better governance. Africa doesn't need strong men. It needs strong institutions. Soccer coach Adi Ndoye says President Obama has a certain influence with African leaders, and he should use it more. Not necessarily giving them lessons, but rather instilling in our presidents a way to run their countries that benefits everyone, not just the leaders and their families. Major challenges remain in Senegal. Young people here say they would tell President Obama about how hard it is to pay for school or find a job. We had hope with the new government, but we still don't have jobs. We are still here waiting. We need a new way to get there. We want our country to be rich. Africa has the youngest and one of the most rapidly growing populations in the world. The White House says meeting with this, quote, next generation of African leaders is indeed on the president's agenda. And look, VOA News, Dakar. Well, for more perspective, I'm joined by Idrissa Fala, reporter with the Voice of America, French to Africa service. Idrissa, welcome to Africa 54. Uh, thank you. You must Vincent. be proud of uh, Senegal and yes, being a Senegalese. Any Senegalese you know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I would say that uh, the uh, president uh, Senghor set the ball rolling. It was at a time when there were all these coups, but way back in 1980, he retired and paved the way for democracy. Well, it was there before. Mm -hmm. People tend to forget that Senegal was, had several political parties yeah. at its independence yeah. in 1960. I think the uh, one party rule came under Senghor yeah. after some violence with local elections in 1963. Yeah. And uh, when Senghor decided that he going to open uh, to multipartism, mm. I think his first opponent was a guy named uh, Abdullah Wad. Yeah. It was back in uh, 70. And Abdullah Wad became president. Uh, yeah, later on. Yeah, later on. He left the power. Yeah, but uh, at, at his time, I mean, people started getting concerned about him turning into an African strongman. How did Senegal manage to transition from him peacefully to Macky The first thing, I think, uh, Senghor said something very new in Africa resigning by himself in the 80s. Then Abu Juf took over. When he came, he decided, OK, everybody can create its own party. Now there are around 80 or maybe 100 political parties. Well, Juf stayed there at least 20 years or 19 years. And then by election, he lost the election. He accepted his defeat by President Wad. President Wad was supposed to really respect the Constitution, mm -hmm. saying that he has two mandates but he decided to run for the third one. 
And that third one, I think Andrew just said, it was a kind of turmoil, which ended up very pacifically. The Senegalese it, get rid of him. In fact, uh, people were concerned that that election was going to spark off something. Because violent. the Senegalese so clearly they yeah. don't want Mr. Watt to run for a third mandate. Yeah. And even the U.S. at that time, I think yeah. it was a problem. Some congressman wrote a letter about uh, it. Uh, people still say, well, Senegal is not all peaceful. There's the question of Casamance. There's been violence there. There's been a, a quest for independence or autonomy. Well, because Casamance is, had been there for at least 30 years. But people tend to forget that the rebels in Casamance are not the main component of the region. They are overpopulation. There are uh, Fulani living there. Uh, Wolofer living there, and they are not part of that uh, insurgency. It's so that it's going on, and right now I think the actual government began serious negotiations with the rebels, with the, the mediation of the community Sante Egidio, which yeah. is in, in Rome, and uh, all the Senegalese are hopeful it will bring something. Yeah. Now, would you, and you, you might be biased here, uh, would you say there's something that makes Senegal uh, more unique than uh, the countries in the region? I mean, we have Ghana there, we have uh, Nigeria, well, we have uh, Cameroon to the central point. The, the tradition of democracy yeah. in Senegal is way different from Ghana. Yeah. Ghana was uh, a lot of coups since Kroma dies. Uh, and you remember Jerry Rawlings and whoever. Mm. Nigeria, it had been, people don't say it, it had been a mess yeah. for years. It's coup after coup. Now they are learning uh, to have a pacific transition with yeah. election. And uh, besides that, what? Uh, mm -hmm. Ivory Coast, mm -hmm. they just get out of an uh, electoral crisis. We've left uh, at least 3,000 people dead. Guinea, yeah. the same thing. Okay. They, they cannot fight to get out of so, even... Well, thank you very much for giving us some insights. Thank and, you. And uh, we are proud well, of Obama is coming. You must be proud <laughs> yes. that he's coming to your country. Thank you, we'll have more discussions in the coming days as <laughs> yes, to absolutely. the significance and the meaning uh, of this particular uh, visit at this time. Not the thank first time a U.S. president is vis visiting Senegal. Now, Idrissa Afal is a reporter with the Voice of America's French to, uh, to Africa service.